Rabotai, good morning. Bezat Hashem, Minha followed by Avit is going to be at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Please be on time. As we know, today is already Erev Rosh Chodesh, so in the Minha we're not going to be saying Tachanun, and tonight is going to be mentioning Ya'alev Yavok. The Arachat tells us that a person uh, is required every single day to say a hundred Vulachot. And that's true on every day of the week, including Shabbat, where we have less brachot built in. Most of the most of the days of the week, it's not such a big deal. Sunday, Monday, it's not a big deal to say a hundred brachot because uh, through the three tefillot, a person prays, a person says birkot hashachar, almost naturally is going to get to a hundred brachot. Says Asher Yatzar, he'll cover the brachot. On Shabbat, it's a little bit more complicated. A person has to make sure that uh, he says other brachot additionally. Um, if he wants to say on food, if he wants to say on bisamim, in order to get, there's about 20 brachot that are missing from the daily schedule on Shabbat that a person has to make up. Uh, one of the ways is a person is in suda shirishit. And there's a real question on the what happens if suda shirishit extends past Shabbat? So we know the 100 brachot start from the night and they end at the night. So what happens if it's already past the night, it's Motz'e Shabbat, but he's still within Suda Shlishit. He still hasn't said, uh, you know, Arvit, he's still within the third meal, and he wants to say additional brachot, like on Bissamim, or maybe on snacks and different things of that nature. So the halakha is, in that case, uh, we do say that that counts for 100 brachot, because since he's still within the Suda Shlishit, we do consider it to be Shabbat, and we consider all those brachot to count for the Shabbat Berachot. Baruch Adonai.